guys there's a few things that i have not been fully open with on my channel last year and i think a lot of you guys kind of knew that because i kept saying like oh i have something going on and there's a few things in my life actually that i don't talk about there's family issues i don't like to talk about i don't talk about my relationship very often any sort of health issues or anything that i still haven't really come to terms with yet like i don't feel comfortable talking about something if i haven't fully dealt with it myself and that was something that i was struggling with last year and it was a huge part of my life that i just kind of kept behind the scenes with everyone in my life not just you guys like literally everyone um I'm gonna try not to get emotional. A huge part of my life, actually like the majority of my life, like is with Noah and you guys don't see that very often because he's a very private person and I don't like to put him online if he doesn't wanna be online. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I've been with him since I was 18 years old. I am 27 right now. And our love story is just something that I wish I could share more of with you guys just because it is a beautiful story um and he means the world to me he's a very special special person i just wish you guys got to see that but um we have decided to split and the reason because if you guys were along with me on my journey in 2020 you know i literally went through i really hate bringing it up because i feel like i bring it up all the time but it was such a monumental thing i think in a lot of people's lives like you really got to sit with your life without any of the distractions that we do on a day-to-day -day basis and kind of figure out like, am I happy? Is this really what I want? And I got stuck in New York alone after my dad. I really had a lot of time to think in that space and um, something that I kind of came to the realization was that maybe one day, you know, I do want a family. And I went into the relationship not wanting that and you know 2020 really made me realize how important family is and how i really want that to be a part of my story i would love to have a family one day and that's just something that noah and i we didn't really want so i was the one who kind of like shifted priorities a little bit and we discussed it and went through it in 2020 and um we have decided to go ahead and split because of that so um he is an amazing person i just want to say right now please do not in the comments say anything negative about him he is such a wonderful wonderful human being um and if you do say anything negative i will delete it and i will block you like i don't do that i'm freedom of speech like to each their own i don't like blocking people but if you talk bad about people that i love i will because he is not a part of this channel and so i don't want anything around like negative around that if that makes sense so yeah that is it i don't want to talk about it anymore like i said he's an amazing human being he will always be a part of my life and that's the big elephant in the room that i feel like everyone's been asking me for so long and i 
I already knew it, I just didn't really feel like discussing it at the time and now that I'm in my new apartment, I thought like a lot of you guys have been asking me like where is he, what's going on, is he still in New York, like that is the heavy topic. I feel like I got that off my chest. I don't want to discuss it anymore. I'm making that extremely clear. Nothing but kind words for us. Our love story was just like such a beautiful thing and he's a beautiful person. I wish you guys got to know him because he is just an amazing, amazing person. So yes. With that behind us, um, today I really don't have too many plans. I think I'm gonna just do some stuff around the house. My aunt is coming at noon. We're gonna have some coffee. Uh, we're gonna go get ice cream, but yeah, welcome to the vlog. I'm just gonna pick up the camera when I feel like it because I just don't really know what's going on right now. There's nothing, there's nothing crazy right now going on. That's like literally been the theme of these videos. I'm just picking it up when it's time to pick it up. I'm not like putting any sort of expectations on what to film or anything like that. So yeah, I don't know. Are you guys liking the new style of videos? I'm doing like a little bit more daily vlog kind of style. Let me know if you guys are interested, but um, yeah, good morning. Happy, what's today, Tuesday. I have to talk about these bars, they're so good. Have you guys ever heard of the Naked Protein Powder? It's like the grass-fed whey protein powder. If you're like a gym rat or like into fitness and health, I'm sure you've seen that. But they just came out with like new granola bars and they're so good. So they have peanut butter crunch, which is this one. I love it, it's super clean. They have like little crunch crisps in there. They're actually made with um, like whey protein, the crisps themselves, so they have like protein as well. But I've been a fan of their um, protein powder for a very long time just because it's always been clean. Like there's never been anything hidden, like no artificial colors, very clean protein. Like I said, grass fed, which is really important for me. So when they came out with the bars, I was so excited that they asked me to partner with them. So yeah, they're out now. Go try them. I'll leave them linked down below for you guys. They have a discount code for you. I think both ones are 15 grams of protein and they're less than 200 calories each. Super low in sugar and really high in fiber. So you feel satisfied after you eat it. Like, you know when you eat a protein bar and you just like, okay, I need something else? No, this one is like filled with all the goodness. Yeah, really cool. They're really yummy. Any sweet, if you put it in your mouth, this is really weird. If you drink a sip of coffee with it still in your mouth, it just melts and like combines the flavors and it tastes so good. It's like my favorite thing to do. Mm. I've been eating these nonstop, like they're almost gone. I need to chill. back from a little stroll with my aunt. I had a lot of fun. I kind of explored the neighborhood a little bit. I got a million packages in the mail. I feel like every single vlog from here on out until I get like myself situated is just gonna have like an unboxing haul because I'm just ordering so much stuff online. We're gonna go here first. What is this? Oh. So I I'm unboxing my Christmas stuff. Like I have all my storage stuff here and all my Christmas things are in like 10 different things. So I got like this gift wrapping organizer. We'll do that later. Probably maybe in Vlogmas maybe. Bathroom suction cups. We'll do that in a separate video. So I got myself one of those things that you put on your camp. Well, your gear on it. But I got the like, <clears throat> it's like a neck strap where you like put your camera like this, but it's so bulky. I found this, it's like a, a wrist one. So I think you like go like this and then I can hold my camera because my camera's kind of bulky, the one that you're on, but I can hold it like on my wrist rather than around my neck and have it just like dangling, you know? Oh, it's my door stopper. So my outdoor patio door doesn't stay open, but I kind of like it when the air comes in. So I got this door stopper. Benadryl. I always tell myself that I need Benadryl. God forbid someone has a freaking allergic reaction. I don't have an EpiPen and I feel like Benadryl is just something that you need in your house and I never have it. These, and then it also came with cups and stuff. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is a fridge scent thing. My fridge smells weird. It smells like, you know like, like rose kind of like older lady. It's a weird scent that should not be in your fridge and every time I open it, it just puts me off. So I'm like, I bought these. It's like a fridge reset. You guess, I guess you just pop them in the fridge and then it smells better. Oh, a broom, I mean a mop. This is like kind of like a Swiffer, but you spray it. I like Swiffers, but you just have to keep reapplying the little like refill and then you can sweep it 
around like for one minute and then it goes dry and then you gotta replace it. It's just like too much for this big ass apartment. Oh yeah, and then I got myself a Bluetooth pen. All right, guys, I am going to do a Peloton run. I'm usually a morning workout person. I really hate working out at night, but um, I need to work out today. Oh, labyrinth. <sighs> yes. Oh my God. Okay, I'm doing this one. Holy crap. Okay, see you on the flip side. Okay, no, I don't want to do more. Oh my God, that was tough. Music was great. You can see me sweating, literally through the freaking screen. I'm gonna go hop in the shower. I'm gross. <laughs> Whew, that was tough. crazy person but I made so much progress today I had two giant piles that I just like didn't even want to touch because I'm like I don't even know where to start and I just started <laughs> things are making progress and we're putting them away in a really nice way like it's not like just thrown in a closet like it's very organized and clean so I'm happy I moved my peloton over here let me show you pelotons over here for right now this is still office stuff and actually this box and that art piece is going with my mom so I don't really have that much minus that stuff rug is out I feel so good. I feel like somewhat of a cozy vibe. Tree is on and hooked up. I like figured out the Alexa like light thing. This is all TV stuff. This is decor. It's nice and out so I can see. This is the problem area. This is all trash. I promise I'll get to it. But once that's cleared out, it's much more open. And then this room um, just has a little bit of decor like wall pieces my treadmill I need to figure out what I'm doing with that I think I'm actually gonna put it underneath something that's gonna go here Which I'll explain in a separate video. This is gonna go somewhere eventually. This is Christmas stuff This is like project number one for vlogmas, but it doesn't look that pretty But this is my storage unit <laughs> and it's organized in a really clean way So yeah, that's as much progress as we're gonna make right now. I feel nice and fresh I just like looking at like right here. It just feels so cozy Like are you guys getting a little bit of coziness from the rug just from the rug in the plant it's amazing i've heard from this wine from um kristen cavallari she is like a partner of them which is really cool and if you know anything about her you know she's extremely healthy in terms of like putting healthy clean ingredients in her body so if she trusts it i trust it to be honest oh this is cute bottle stopper i don't even have one of these at all oh my god i need one of these how Cute. The cool thing about this wine, this is not sponsored by the way, it is made for people who are like allergic to wine. I don't know about you, but when I drink like dark wine, I get extremely hot. Sometimes I'll get like itchy and I have like this weird sort of reaction to it. I think because of all the sulfates in wine and high histamine levels. So this is made for people who want cleaner wine, no sulfates. Um, I've had organic wine before and it does the same thing. Like I don't feel that like sense of hot and like itchy, like I'm having some sort of like al allergic reaction. This is the same vibe. So it's super clean, um, but they gave me three bottles of wine, which is so freaking nice of them. So I'll link them down below. If you guys are intolerant to wine, I would recommend to try this out. Um, ooh, this is a bottle of champagne, okay. 
white wine. Oh my god, I'm like utilizing my wine fridge so much. I'm so happy right now. I just feel like alcohol, it's just so looked over because no one really cares when they're drinking. They're just like drinking to drink, you know? And we, there's no ingredient list on the back. So knowing that it's from a clean source and that I'm not gonna have some sort of like allergic reaction, or feel hot and itchy like no one wants that you know especially when you're drinking wine you're supposed to like be calm and like chill out it's just a whole thing so i'm excited to try this vlog here now that i have literally everything unboxed i'm thinking it's time to start shopping for furniture my um phone is going so i gotta go i love you guys thank you for watching see you soon